Hi, Slick here from the Nerd Soapbox, and today I'm in the uh, Pasadena, California, at the 10th anniversary of Monster Palooza. And uh, Monster Palooza is the preeminent Southern California horror convention, and I have a special guest with me. Uh, he's an actor, best known to the Nerd Soapbox gang, for, uh, for playing Lucius, the young idealistic chimpanzee, in uh, the 1968 Planet of the Apes. Yep, we, you, if you guessed uh, Lou Wagner, you'd be right. Hi, Lou, how are you? Hey, how are you? Oh, I'm fantastic. <laughs> it's good to see you. Oh, thank you. Oh, uh, Get good your hands up, you damn dirty ape. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I had to do it. <laughs> I love that. It's, by the way, it's one of my favorite movies. Oh, uh, Yeah, you. as a kid, I used to, oh, man, just yeah. love the Planet of the Apes. Okay, okay, so I have some questions for you. Sure. All right. I read somewhere that uh, you started out as a child actor, even though you weren't a child. Could you kind of expand on that a little bit? Well, I had a buddy uh, that worked at NBC, All right. and he told me um, the best way to get a, an agent for me okay. was to get a child's agent because I always looked so young, oh. and I could work longer where kids could only work four hours at a time. So it oh. worked out, you know? All right. All right. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So that okay. So that explains uh, when I saw you. Uh, was it the Haunted Lighthouse episode in Lost in Space? Oh yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah you yeah, um, yeah. was it J Five, right? That's right. Yep. Yeah. He was kind of a impish little character. Yeah. He was. How, how he fun was, was that? Fun. He was really fun. <laughs> did Did you get to meet Irwin Allen? No, I never did. I, I, I heard him talk about me, but, really? but I never really got to meet him. Oh, what, what was uh, what was Jonathan Harris like on the set? He was very funny. Yeah. Very, yeah. very funny. Oh, wow. Every day at 4 o'clock, he gave the whole cast and crews Tootsie Pops. Really? Every day. Oh, that's fun. Oh, wow. That's really cool. Okay. I, I also know you, you, uh, you played several uh, uh, troubled youths. In the yes. uh, classic police procedural uh, dragnet. Yes. Yeah. Yes. All right. Just the facts there, yeah, uh, that's Lou. Right. Just the facts, Lou. Just the facts. <laughs> so tell me, um, it, dragnet. Okay. Yeah. It, um, it it had a unique, very unique tone to its dialogue and uh, the way the actors deliver that. Were you uh, were you coached by Jack Webb at all, or how did that well, come about? Let me tell you how that worked. Um, the actors were told not to memorize their lines. What? No. That's and kind of antithetical to uh, the rest of the acting. Oh, that's okay, <laughs> I know. Yeah. All their lines were on teleprompters. One over here for Jack, and one over here for his his uh, buddy. Oh. You know? oh, wow. So when I'm talking to one of them, I go over here, and I pick up the dialogue, and that's how we, we talked, you know, the, in that... Yeah, kind of a staccato type. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Da, 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 yeah, yeah. Yeah. Wow. Jeez, I would, I would never have known that if I didn't yeah. talk to you. No, that's fantastic. Okay, okay. Thank you. So, what was the, what was the casting process like for, uh, for Lucius, the uh, chimpanzee in, in uh, Planet of the Apes? It was uh, totally unique. Yeah. I went in and instead of seeing a casting director, All right. I saw the director himself. Oh. On the first interview, All right. and uh, he asked me five or six different questions. Well, maybe ten or twenty. Okay. And he said, um, "I notice your eyes are hazel." Right, right. We're going to need brown eyes. Can you wear contacts? And you said yes, of course. Oh, of course, <laughs> of course. I said I've never worn them, but I will for sure. And yeah. I got. I went home, and my agent called me and said, "You got the part." That was it. Wow. Yeah. Wow, geez. Okay, okay, okay. Did you uh, do any research for uh, your role as a chimpanzee? Yes, I did. What did you I, do? Once I knew I got it, All right. um, I had about a month and a half to two months before I started. Okay. So I went to the zoo and went to the chimpanzee area yeah, yeah. and tried to find anything that I could find that I could use as a character. Oh. And I came up with a walk, oh. a special walk. All right. And when I, uh, first, the first day that I was on the set, in inside, yeah, yeah. we did a week of location. Then when yeah, we yeah. first 
you know, came to the studio, the director said, um, uh, Roddy McDowell has worked out a walk. <laughs> and Oh, uh, has he now? Yeah, right. right. <laughs> and so he said, um, so I want you to watch him and and then from now on through the end of the film that's the walk you'll have all right he taught me the same walk that i taught myself <laughs> isn't that so, wild so your research really paid off yeah, yeah you it did, did it, it did. you didn't have to learn anything no anything new oh wow how long did the, the lucius makeup take to apply well after we got it down all right it took about three and a half to four hours Oh, yeah. wow. And about an hour and a half to take off. All right. What did you do in the, on, on the chair while they were putting the makeup on you? Um, everything from just totally relaxed to sleep. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Wow. I did, okay. Okay. Was, did you find it hard to uh, emote and act through the layers of makeup? No. Um, I, I was a stage actor and still am. Right. You know, but... Uh, most of the major actors that were in the masks were stage actors, oh. so they could project through that mask. Okay, okay, yeah. wow. Did you have any trouble eating or drinking with the... Yes, yeah, yes, yeah. yeah. Um, could only drink through a straw. Oh, wow. And be very careful when you ate lunch. And then, of course, they touched up your makeup. Oh, but, yeah. <laughs> oh wow. You had to be careful. Yeah. Could could you maybe share a story, uh, maybe an onset story uh, about Planet of the Apes with us? Well, let's see. Um, um, yeah. Um, when we were on location, right. we were um, at the bottom of the Colorado River. All right. And the base camp was way up, about a mile, mile and a half away. <laughs> wow. You know. Yeah. And. This one day, we went down in a, in a van, and we realized that they forgot to give us straws. Roddy, Whoa. Kim, Morris, and me. You couldn't drink anything. We couldn't drink. Yeah. And it was really hot. It was desert hot. Wow. You know? So Charlton Heston ran back up to Whoa. the base camp and brought straws back. That's, wow. that's what a nice guy he was. Oh, man. That's amazing. And at the time, he was the president of the Screen Actors Guild. All right. All right. Wow. Hey, so you returned in Conquest of the Planet of the Apes yeah. as a busboy. Yes. Um, I was but, supposed to be with Roddy all the way through as his henchman. Oh, really? Yes. And, I, and I, I'm and i sitting in the makeup chair, and the producer comes in, and he says, we've revamp the whole script and you're out you only work today oh, wow so you know the rest of my stuff was out <gasps> did, did you have to train it all to you know set fire to that table <laughs> uh they the, the the guys you know showed me how to do it so all right, all right. so we didn't burn the place down oh thank goodness thank goodness are you still uh, are you still stealing silverware uh, once in a while. <laughs> <laughs> Almost got a full set now. Uh, yeah. Oh, man. Oh, it's, wow. Okay. okay. Um, geez, uh, Skyler. <laughs> uh, have, you like gladiator movies, Skyler? Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, what, what we're talking about is Airport 1970. They had an amazing cast. An airplane. <laughs> an airplane, yeah. An airplane, too. Yeah, kind of a mix it up there. Yeah. Oh, my teeth are falling out. <laughs> hey. <laughs> so, t tell me, were you at all intimidated working with such a stellar cast in airports? Uh, I, I was airport? honored. Just totally honored. Was who, uh, Dean Martin was there. And, oh, I uh, mean, I can't rattle off all the people. This is amazing. Yeah. Yep. Okay. okay. You were in um, Sid and Marty Croft? You were, you were, yes, did, what did you do? I was the uh, ludicrous lion. Ludicrous Oh, jeez. Yeah. In HR puppet stuff? Yes. Can't get a little and you can't get enough? I know, I know, I know. <laughs> wow. It's, okay, okay. It, okay. I got to ask you about Star Trek. Yeah. How long did that makeup take? You were a Ferengi, like twice, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, that was another three and a half hours. Oh. And wow. uh, about an hour to take off. All right. Okay. So you're in this heavy makeup once again, right? Yeah, yep. Did you ever start 
Well, can like an ape when you <laughs> supposed to be a Ferengi? I, I had to think twice. <laughs> oh, man. oh man, Were you a fan of Star Trek before you got the gig? Uh, I I appreciated it. Yes. Okay, okay. Yeah, I can appreciate that answer. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Okay. Okay. And it, tell me about uh, you have a, quite a connection with with McDonald's, don't you? Yes. Yes. I was the old professor for about fifteen years. And the, and the commercials. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, gee. He's the guy that came up with all the different and foods and stuff. An, another makeup job. Oh, you know, <laughs> wow. About three hours. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so I heard you had somebody really special doing the directing on those commercials. Yes. Yeah. Howie Morris. <gasps> from, from, from your show of shows. Yeah, and Mayberry, and uh, was it Andy Griffith's show? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's a funny guy. He was a great guy. Oh, man. I bet you learned a lot of comedy from him. Yes, yes. He, uh, he was very funny. He would set up the shots and right. he would tell the different actors what to do, move over here, do this, right. and then he would say, and Lou, act better. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wow. What are you doing these days? Uh, I'm still acting. Okay. You know. Any uh, projects you could share with us? Um, well, you... I'm, I'm, I just finished All right. a uh, documentary on Planet of the Apes uh, 50 years All right. from now. Wow. You know, you know uh, it's the 50th anniversary. Yeah, yeah. And, and the uh, documentary is about um, the makeup, you know, the, all the artists behind the artists, right. you know, and, and, uh, and also um, all the major stars and directors that love the show, and some of them got in the business. Because, because of that? Planet. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Gee. Okay. Do you have a website? Are you on social media? No, I'm not. <gasps> You're no. not. No, I'm not. All right. Well, I'm just going to have to look out for you then. Yes, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Jeez, Lou. Thanks for talking to us. Hey, thank you. Oh, wow. <laughs> All right. Let's, uh, this was Flick from the Nerd Soapbox with actor Lou Wagner. Okay. I'm going to go see who else I can scare up at Monster Palooza. Okay. okay. <laughs> Bye-bye. <laughs>